Victor D'Amico was born in New York in 1904, where he grew up exposed to a great variety of art and culture in the city. He attended Pratt Institute in 1922 and studied for four years before going to Teachers College at Columbia University. Though he started his career teaching at several settlement houses in the 1920s, he later became the head of the art department at the Fieldstone School of Ethical Culture, where he would take students on sketching trips in the city. D'Amico believed that exploration, especially of one's external environment, was required to wake a child's inner artist. In the 1930s, he established the Young People's Gallery at the Museum of Modern Art, which brought in children and adults alike for interactive art programs and workshops at the museum. As an active member of the Progressive Education Association, he helped produce the Visual Arts in General Education, a report published in 1940 on the function of art in secondary education. Three years later, in 1943, he established the National Committee on Art Education, a forum that aided discussion on creative art teaching practices for artists, educators, psychologists, and art directors. Once he retired from his position at the MoMA in 1969, D'Amico continued to teach at his own studio in Long Island until the late 70s. In 1953, D'Amico wrote Creative Teaching and Art, which was written to interpret the fundamentals of creative education in terms of practical teaching situations. The book goes on to discuss the teaching of a variety of mediums, but perhaps the most influential words come from the beginning of the book, within its first chapter. The author speaks of the child as an artist and a creator, but stresses that the professional artist and child artist should not be compared. Up to age six, the child creates freely without worries of realism or design. They create what comes to mind, drawing with complete abandon, and they make work that is highly personal. The professional artist, however, has years of study and experience to rely on and creates work that is universal and highly conceptual. Expectations placed on the child to create the work of an artist are simply unfounded, even if the child appears to be artistically gifted. D'Amico declares that educators must change the way they perceive the creativity of children and place focus solely on the experience rather than the product in art classrooms. As children get older and reach adolescence, they become barren of creative ideas, which D'Amico ties to the lack of art development in American schools and suggests that if we were to change this, our children would perhaps carry more creative interests through their adolescent years and into adulthood. The legacy of Victor D'Amico and the progressive educators that were like him are evident in art education today. The highly structured approach of industrial drawing became less popular and was replaced by a focus on self-expression and technique. After World War II, the ideology of progressive private schools was eventually adapted into public schools and after the Depression, parents became concerned with receiving the best, most well-rounded education for their children.